Hi right, guys, welcome back to StarCraft. Um, I realize that if you actually warp travel right now, uh, you're going to get knocked into another mission uh, right away. So you have to do all the preparations, unfortunately, beforehand. So Artanis, Hierarch of the uh, I'm going to tell you how to have fun the proper way, because uh, if you don't, if you, if you don't do exactly what I say, then you're a shit. Okay? No, it's just it, this is actually one of the best missions, in my opinion, in this entire game, and you have to kind of. Make uh, you should have very specific things, um, and I'm going to show you how to have fun the proper way with this mission. All right, um, the things that are necessary, I would suggest Corsair for this. Uh, that adds a lot of utility for this mission coming up. Uh, just uh, for just the min maxing kind of a thing, you must have dark archons to have fun. Okay, you are not having fun properly if you don't get dark archons. Please, please, and then nothing else matters. Actually, literally nothing else matters, okay, in this one. As for Solar Core, um, I have unallocated Solar because I wasn't, I was fucking around with it. Alright. Do Shield Overcharge? Reconstruction Beam. Reconstruction Beam is a must. Um, I can't really squeeze out Phoenix as well. I still like Orbital Simulator, um, so I'm gonna keep Orbital Simulator going. Um,. I mean, yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. Uh, Solar Lance is pretty good. Uh, we can do, I guess, Chrono Surge on top of that, and also do some Shield Recharge. So this would be the kind of the format I would use. Um, I, as I said, you could still kind of go to Warp Harmonization, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe for maybe for a meme, we're, we're gonna do Warp Harmonization. This is gonna be the one time you're gonna see me use it, uh, just because I'm such a nice guy. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use it just so you guys kind of get an idea of what it what it does and things like that. Um, I mean, either one is pretty good, so uh, you make your choice. Oh, uh, one other thing, sorry. I um, also get stalkers from uh, from here. Get get stalkers. That's just for efficiency. It's not super important, but you should still get it. I'm just saying, and then that's it. So we're good to go. Taldarim and Alarak have joined our fight, but we cannot strike against Ire until Amon's armies have been brought low. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Hierarch, as ordered. My Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Corps to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. Kerax, what do you know of their defenses? The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. Ready our ships for assault. Hierarch, Mobius Corps' vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. Templar, to me! We will not let the Spear of a Doom fall! Kerax, we cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facesmith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hyrock. Ship boarded. I need our best warriors here. 
I know you were not trained for battle, Faye Smith. But with your tactical expertise, you can destroy this facility. Go now, with my full faith behind you. The Mobius facility. As we suspected, this is where Amon's hybrid armies are born. The operation is fueled by three power cores. Destroying them will destabilize the facility and allow us to annihilate the remaining structure. If I establish our nexus point on the outer edge of the platform, the Templar can fight their way in. But there are no ground paths and few minerals. Fortunately, our carriers are ready now. With their help, I might have a chance. Alrighty. So, this is honestly my favorite mission in this whole game. So now we have warp star guys. This platform has been locked by Mobius security protocols. Hmm. They cannot be too difficult to decipher. If I gain access, I should be able to move the platform to areas with additional minerals. Well, at least there's enough resources here to get started. Okay, I'm turning off autocast for disruption web. And we're gonna just kinda now go ham. So uh, we cast disruption web and kind of have fun. Let's just make sure that this keeps making units. Oh, kind of move this guy back. And there we go. So normally what I do is I make one stalker, and this is this guy's just a kind of a resource collection bitch. That's all he does. Uh, you appear to be. Right, we need way more uh, units here. All right, so resource collection, bitch, go collect resources. Very well. And we're probably gonna need some more pylons. So, um, basically, try to build everything on this platform. This is actually one of the coolest missions, by the way. This is the best mission in the entire game. I'm just letting you know that right now. And build everything on the platform. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, we can build our, another carrier. Oh, here you go. We're we'll it in. You guys happy now? <laughs> Fucking got it. Alright, we're gonna need to start mining this gas out now. This should, this should, this will be enough probes now. So as you can see, we're kind of running out of resources kind of quickly here. Um, so don't worry too much about it right now. Where's our Corsairs? We also need to get air weapons going. It is done. I have access to the controls. The platform is operational. These navigational controls in the upper right of the command display will allow me to move it toward additional resources. The enemy will not be far, though. I should send some ships to scout ahead before we relocate. There we go. And this is why I like the disruption webs. Because you start with the two Corsairs anyways, you might as well use them for the maximum utility that they can provide, you know? Alright, so these mineral fields are getting depleted. You know, you, you can you can mine that gas too. I, I, just for efficiency, I want to I want to make sure I have all of that. Uh, and apparently, we need more pylons. So I guess I'm just gonna make some more right here. Oh, we need a forge actually. Oh, uh, we need two things. We need a forge, and we need a Templar archive. Absolutely needed Templar archive. If you are not playing the game right, if you don't have that Templar archive, it, faster than I made it as well. I am detecting several banshees approaching our nexus. Amon has awoken. We sleep no more. Seen. I serve. We're just gonna wait for the banshees. Yeah, everyone can mind gas. These poor banshees. All right, let's go up here and clear this guy out, and then there's no time limit on this map, by the way. So just knock yourself out, have a good time. There 
And since we're, we got the healing ability on our, my carriers, it's just like, uh... Alright, disrupt that guy too. Ah, uh, this guy can now kind of get these things. Did the geyser complete? Alright, alright. So, get ready for the coolest fucking thing you've ever seen in your entire life in an RTS game, alright? We rally all the probes. Alright. Okay, they're coming back in, alright, all that kind of jazz. Move platform up. No, you left some behind, you fucker! Oh, uh, these guys die. Do, do we go back for them, is the question? Of course we go back for them. No probe left behind. <laughs> This is, honestly, when I saw this, this kind of blew my mind. I'm like, this is actually one of the cooler mechanics I've ever seen. Karax, we are having difficulty repelling the hybrid on the Spear of Adu. Have you located their stasis chambers? My scan showed two chambers nearby. They appear to run on Solarite. We could use it more than ever. Dude, I did like a fucking warping carrier that probably deserves to go on a montage. Alright, let's go get all these guys mining shit. There we go. And this is how we do this map. Uh, so we're going to actually go this way now. So this is completely mined out, so we don't worry about that anymore. Uh, let's see. Can we make another carrier by chance? Oh, we totally can. And also we can need to get all these upgrades going. Oh. We could actually just kill these guys with the lasers. And I'm going to actually do that. We usually make some cannons or something for defenses, but I'm I'm apparently incredibly lazy and have not done that, so. Alright, let's go bring out these guys. Oh shit, I forgot. Forgot I have to be having fun right now. I, for I forgot how to have fun. No, we lost the course there. Okay. I should have made that Dark Archon way sooner. Alright, alright, alright. All right, all right. We just we wait for the power to come up. Sorry, my bad. I, I totally forgot it was happening already. Yeah, so um, there's battle cruisers in this map. And you know what's fun? It's uh, mind controlling battle cruisers. <laughs> and I'm gonna make the more pylons, actually. But that's why we made the Templar Archives. But they don't start with 100 energy. So how many Dark Archons do we exactly make? Well, that's really up to you. I, I found four to be the sweet spot for this mission. And this is also why we have Reconstruction Beam, because no matter what happens to the battle cruisers, they'll stay at full health. So we're just going to wait for this guy to get his energy. As I said, if you're not doing this, you're having fun wrong. Like, we're not going for any kind of speed run in this, we're just, we're having fun. So that's all we're doing. I'll say it a thousand more times. Okay, we're good. We lost one of our Corsairs, though. Okay, let, let him chase, let him chase, and... Can you fucking take him over? Thank you. And now we have our own battle cruiser. We need more Vespine gas for that? Oh, whatever. Alright, we're pretty good now. And see, this guy's just getting constantly healed. That's why we do it the way I'm doing it. And where's our, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't like these guys. Fuck them. We need more, uh, Dark Temple... Dark Archons, though, in my opinion. Where's our, uh, sucker? Here he is. Alright. So, normally what I do at this point is I would make, like, a couple of cannons, maybe. And I make them at the top of the map. This basically just adds a bit of a buffer for me. Alright. Just take care of this guy. Uh, we have an optional objective right here. I guess we might as well go for that. Get back. Uh, actually, let's just do emergency shields. Uh, but we still lost one carrier. 
Uh, do this. Yeah, we did just spend everything that we have on that, but we're fine. Uh, we should also probably consider going to another place. But we have carriers to make. Fucking carriers. Oh, also, uh, see those little, like, little crystal things right here? They're actually mineral pickups, and that guy's gonna kill me. It's really weird what they do to the voices when you mind control something, I won't lie, I won't lie. And we're just gonna, I guess, deal with that thing in the middle. I like more minerals. All right, all right, here we go. Take over two more. You having fun yet? You better be having fun now. Where'd my, uh, he's over here somewhere. You know what, whatever, he's got it. Now we need my stalker. So, as occasionally they send forces with you, and for now on, they kind of just send a contingent of battle cruisers for, for you right now. Oh. Oh wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's see if we can cut that guy back. Can we can can we cut him back far enough? Is the question. I think we can. No, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't think we can take that guy with us, because we can't get over the platform here. That's the problem. We'll go. Yeah, I really hate this. Oh, we, we have tactical jump on these battle cruisers, by the way. Remember, every battle cruiser you don't take is like you basically sacrificing a carrier. Alright, come on over. I have to, I have to, I have to like, like, just kind of slowly kite him over. How long will it? Yeah, okay, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, uh, no! Okay, this is where he stops, so. Alright, sorry, we're gonna have to let him die. I mean, we could kind of just go here, but I don't really want to do that, to be honest. It's a lot of effort. Alternatively, we could probably warp in a pylon here and then warp in a Dark Archon, but that's, that's honestly that's a lot of effort. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Okay, that guy died too. Alright. It's fine, though. Power core is destroyed. Mobius core energy reserves dropping to 66%. Excellent work, Face. Press on. Take over that, and take over that. There you go. And this is, we're just getting more battle cruises every time. Do I have enough, uh, Archons now, or no? Or, I have to see. But we need to recall all our probes now, though. Or, like, whatever. I, I find that they, they didn't recall properly, so. Alright. I mean, you could, we could take this base, but, I mean, I don't really, like, do I, do I really need it to be, let's be honest now, guys. Do I fucking need it? No. Oh, shit. The stalker didn't, didn't get the rest of that. Yeah, whatever. We're just gonna leave the stalker here. Or, actually, I, I need to clear this out anyways. Because I miss this stuff. There we go. So he's rallied to go do everything. I kind of wish I did have that, um... That guy to collect, uh... I see these little mineral things everywhere. You see all on the map, there's little mineral patches right here, you know? Oh, uh, I'm about to lose the battle cruiser. Just gonna move him to the back of the line. Cause he will repair on his own. Alright. Okay, good. I think we're good to go. Alright, let's go to the side now. Do 
So we're making a quick a quick pit stop here. Wow, those graphics do not look uh, right in the slightest. And make him come back in. Alright. Now we're gonna go up north here. Because that's where the rail goes next. Honestly, this mobile base shit is like the best thing I've ever seen. When it, when I've come to... Like, it's, it's so weird to see Blizzard actually come up with something original. And I don't even know if it's something original, but it was actually pretty just... It's just fun. We should probably use that purifier boom at some point, shouldn't we? I mean, everything is at full health, so I'm not really going to change anything. Uh, wait. Oh, let's just kill all these things like this. Fuck it, you're mine now. That's why usually I usually have the cannons, but it's whatever. We have a banshee now, okay? Actually, is there no cloak? Oh, they do have cloak. Why do they never use it? It's because we don't have detection. That's why. Alright, I think we're good to go up now. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna fucking railgun. Whoops. Uh, okay, there we go. Do we have our giant railgun beam? Chambers are gone, and their solarite is ours. That went better than I'd hoped. You require more Vespin gas. I require more Vespin gas. All right, where's our stalker? We need him to collect some of this shit. This is why we have the stalker doing it, just because he has the blink to kind of handle it. I just kind of rally him onto every single little thing that he can collect, and that's it. Upgrade complete. All right, what do we do now? Is the question. Oh, well, we can make another. I wouldn't mind having another Archon here. Oh. There we go. Alright, we're good now. What the hell? What the fuck do you think you're doing? He sees this massive fleet and he thinks that, like, it's a good idea to shoot them. Oh, we, we need more py pylons? Okay, there we go. Someone take over this thing? What? How does no one have enough energy? Okay, I guess I guess that guy doesn't come along. Yeah, it looks like all my dark archons get to die. Whatever, we'll just make more. That's why I found four to be the sweet spot. I don't even know why I have a raven right now. <laughs> just why not at this point? It's it's more of a question of why the fuck not? And I think we lost our stalker actually. Yeah, we totally did. We have to rebuild him at some point. We're gonna kind of just head up here because this is gonna be one of our next destinations. Like, at this point, we have a fleet that can just win the game for us, okay? Let's just go with that. Now, if you didn't do this, you're probably thinking to yourself, I'm, damn, Mike, I'm not having fun. And I'm gonna tell you damn straight. I mean, I could do something weird, like, I could, like, tactical jump all my units to try and snipe this thing. All, like, tactical jump all the battlecruisers. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Because we have one more objective here. We'll, we'll, we'll give that a try soon. Okay, hey, let's get another one over here. Now, if you're wondering if you could just get it, capture an SCV and then potentially just, like, take over everything on the map, I think you can, but, uh, I mean, it, it's a lot of effort to do, to go through that, so, who knows. Like, to, to build another base, especially on this when you have, like, this tiny-ass platform, you know? Uh, I want to get the rest of my research going. We could also make a crap ton more cannons, can't we? Yeah, this little, this teeny little platform is running out of fucking space. Ah, here we go. Mm. 
Yeah, I killed those assholes. There we go, we got him. We're running out of minerals now, so. I just, I, I may, I'm mainly concerned about the gas, to be honest. We're just trying to, we're trying to suck this one dry. Even though, even though we totally don't need to. Because I'm totally going to tackle jump on top of this and see if we can kill it. I mean, I'm just going to put, like, the pure fire beam. I'm going to use everything on that. And it'll be, like, the best fucking strategy I've ever done in the game. Even though I kind of don't want to end this that early, because I like the little platform going all over the place, you know. Alright. I think we're good now. Let's just get all the guys up here. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you they can't, they can't actually go there. Alright. Go up now. No, no, no! Oh, fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Rip. Can't I do a U-turn? I, I, that was my fault I pressed the wrong button, so... Don't mention that. Let's, uh... Maybe just do some upgrades here while we're at it. While the platform is moving. Reason why we're actually waiting for them to come up is because we actually want our Dark Archons for this next part. Because I think there's some battle cruisers here. I remember there being a battle cruiser here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, my battle cruiser. Oh, oh, he lived. Oh, what are you two doing? Alright guys, what the fuck? Oh, dude, there's three carriers for me. Sweet. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to make that though. No, 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 no. Stop doing that. Take over these. There you go. There we go. Okay, we may have lost one of them. Alright, let's just wait for them to heal up. And then we're about to meme this, okay? Alright, so we have tactical jump with these battle cruisers. And so we get to warp a warp in and it's invulnerable and all that kind of jazz. And it's just they're just healing up for an ah whatever, that's that's good enough. Alright guys, get ready for the memes. And that ends the best mission in the game. Very sad. Very, very sad. I mean, I, I kind of skipped past it by just kind of running to the end. That's why we didn't get the, the pickups. Uh, well, well, it's just 42 pickups, actually. So we actually got the pickups. Uh, you used to destroy it with carriers 205. But we got a shit ton of battle cruisers, and that's the fun of it. It's easy. There's no time limit. So, like, you just do whatever you want with it, you know? Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, 
It is clear that the Age of Casts has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. facility and turned your servants to my side all that is left is your destruction impudence you are insignificant in the face of the salvation i bring you will come to ire and die He is gone. He is so arrogant. Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around us. We have to eliminate the sacred psi matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day on. Set a course for Aya. A new combat unit awaits factional assignment hierarchy. That's a super intense fucking haircut. <laughs> Such hubris. To think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole, and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Core. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. The Golden Armada has devastated the Sector, Artanis. I know we cannot engage them directly, but this must not continue. Rohana, before you freed yourself from the Kala's grip, did you see anything else? Yes, I saw Amon's end. As the Firstborn created the Kala, the Zelnaga were disturbed from their slumber. They felt an absence within the void itself. They discovered Amon and his followers at Zerus, and a war among the gods erupted. Amon unleashed the swarm. And the swarm consumed the Zelnaga. Only a fraction remained within Ulnar. In the final confrontation, Amon was felled, but he was not defeated. He returned to the Void, twisting it with his hatred. His servant, Narud, machinated for eons, seeking a body to sustain his master. 
The hybrid. A stepping stone towards the host body he now forges upon Ire. His plan is almost complete. We are still here, Rohana. And he can be defeated again. Alright, we have an assignment. I'll uh, do the claw side in the back here. <laughs> uh, that looks great. Fuck out of here. Go home. Go home, nobody wants you. Alright, I see. A little bit upset, but now he's going. Alright. Capital ships have docked within the Spear of Adun. They await your preference. Alright, so we get either carriers with repair drones, which means it makes the repair beam completely unnecessary. Uh, so they automatically heal mechanical uh, units near the uh, uh, carrier. That's amazing. And then, of course, the interceptors. So you're automatically repairing all the damage. Valor is eternal. Or you get uh, Disintegration. Uh, deals 500 damage over 20 targets, and you get the these siege fucking tempests or whatever. They're the new unit that they put into uh, StarCraft 2 at some point. Or yeah, I don't know if they were here since the beginning. I, I totally forgot this point. But uh, I like I like the carrier healing a carrier. So they're freaking great. Do we get anything else though? The legendary Arbiter vessels have been reconstructed due to our great need. They can be deployed at your discretion. So you get instead of void rays, you can have arbiters. And you get stasis field, mass recall, and uh, obviously the cloaking field. Some amazing stuff. Now it costs like energy. So they actually remade the uh, Arbiters for uh, Legacy of the Void. Pretty good shit. So honestly, the way I work is I make one kind of like ship. Uh, so it's you, if you want to make carriers, get Arbiters. And if you want to get like void rays, you get the whatever this option is, uh, which we don't, we don't, we just don't know what it is. So well, we'll see that later. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Carax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design, a battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a faith smith. And will always be my first calling. But as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. Hierarch, the purifiers are impressed with your leadership. They clamor to strike at the heart of Iman. Friend Phoenix, they are impressed equally with yours. Yes, they have chosen to follow my command. Leadership is new for me, as is everything else. I had not intended to become Hierarch. I questioned the decision. There had to be someone more worthy. Do not fall into the same mental traps I did, my friend. The Purifiers follow you for a reason, as the Dalam now follow me. Self-doubt will only cloud your decision-making. You speak truth, Hierarch. You speak as a leader. Alright, I think this is the point in the game where you literally have all the Solarite in the universe. Yeah, okay, so we have all the Solarite in the universe now. So you can, you can kind of do whatever you want with this, like deploy Phoenix Reconstruction Beam. Fucking some combination of this shit. Chrono Surge, Orbital Simulator. You know, have fun with it. Uh, I mean, I don't know what I'll choose for the future missions, but, uh, we'll see, I guess. Uh, I mean, I don't think I need Chrono Search. Let's just do Shield Recharge and Construction Time or something. I don't know. As I said, I'll tell you before we do missions what I choose for that. And, but we are at the limit now. If you've done all the optional objectives, uh, then you got, you, you just maxed it out now, so. Anyways, it's Warp Travel. So many lost. So much destruction. But there is a glimmer of hope. We will destroy Amon's host body and cast him from the Kala. The Templar shall make our final stand for ire. Brothers, 
Sisters, the time has come for our attack. Oh, well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell, and exists within it and the Kala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Iron by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the void. This optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit, and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on. Your people are lost, Arcanus. I know you desire to save them, but it will not be done. Our focus should be on Amon's destruction alone. By destroying Amon's body, then liberating my people from the Kala, he will be thrust back into the void. It is a victory we can achieve. It is a folly and a risk we do not need to incur. We should eradicate the Protoss, burn the entire world and all on it. No, Alarak. If we may save my people, it will be done. Do not defy me on this. Of course, I only counsel wisdom. If you do not wish to hear it, I will say no more. The psionic matrix was first sparked 3,000 years ago. It is strange. Such a joyous event, and I only know of it from what has been recorded in history. I do not feel the memory. I cannot tell you of the joy that Protoss felt as the first pulse charged the Psi Matrix, or the rush of thoughts that cascaded through the Kala and the minds of proud Kalai. And yet, we know all that we need to about these times, Rohana. Yes. You must understand, though. To have so little of experience to recall it, my account is capable of flaws. Of imperfection. Perhaps this is how our histories should be viewed after all, without certainty, only seen through the era one lives in. Ayer, some of my people are seeing it for the first time. They were born on Shakuris and have only heard tales of our homeland. They will see much more of it, now that the power of the Keystone is within our grasp. Zeratul spoke truly. It has ushered us unto hope. Yes, though not as we initially suspected. Still, his tireless devotion brought us this chance. I will forever honor him for that. As shall I. Greetings, Hierarch. The Keystone is reacting to void energies on the surface of Ire. But this scale... It can only be... Amon. How long until the Keystone is ready? I do not know. It has only been used like this once before. The Keystone shows clear evidence of tampering, likely by this Nerud creature mentioned in the Terran Engineer Swan's report. It was adapted to drain the void energies within Kerrigan and store them until they could be redistributed to revive Amon. The Foundation is there, but it was never intended to house the full energies of Azalnaga. You will find a way, Karax. If there is one thing I have learned, you will not rest until you have found your result. I have faith in that. Thank you, Hierarch. But this will prove difficult. The Keystone was intended to be a vessel, not a prison. I have such tangible memories of Ire. I can still feel the warm breezes of Aldera, its hot sunlight filling my every pore. The Praetor Council took me to Aldera as a youngling, too. 
It is there where I ignited my first Psyblade. Phoenix as well. It was the proudest moment of his life. He felt such purpose, such surety of his existence. I look forward to seeing this place he so loved for the first time. Those memories you hold, they are of another place. That world is no more. Then we shall build a better one on top of it. Alright guys, we're done. And thank you for watching and take care. Goodbye.